why I want you to pay attention. And if I give you a word that you don't understand, go with it. Go with it. Make up something. Or you can say next. And I'll give you another one. So let's get started right away. <clears throat> pay attention. What's words for? Let's start off with the word skedaddle. BTM, <laughs> 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 Carson <Chick. laughs> I shan't shun my duty to skedaddle. I'm going to go through here. Look at this. Ooh, I like it. Ski Vamos. Your military GMF. <laughs> Somebody's military. <laughs> to leave. All I can say is you're sitting here and you're trying to think of the table top. Skedaddle. I can talk about skedaddle. But I won't. I want to talk about something that we can all relate to. And that is standing here. Praying for green lights to come on. <laughs> but it hasn't come on yet, so you don't know what to do, so you keep talking. I can make a comment about Esler's hair or Jordan, you know, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna stand here and babble on, waiting for a green light. Once you have a green light, is it time to stop? No! How often are you afforded this opportunity? We can stand here and talk about absolute nonsense. <laughs> in front of a bunch of people in coats and ties until you get a yellow light. <laughs> this is the term skedaddle. You're waiting until, because green light means, red light means, skip skedaddle. I've been informed that I should skedaddle and I have a red light. Thank you, Dizio, Carson Schaefer. Make note of that when you go in. The word skedaddle was used first, Tell people to skid out. The green light is your cue to start wrapping things up. The yellow light, the yellow light, you have to so have 60 people to get through. So, without further ado, speaking of military words, we will go with apparatus for future DTM. I'm a speaker. Oh, you are? Well, you're on the list for table. Right off, fast on, blue lights. He's on So, <laughs> apparatus, Sean Esler. Sean. Apparatus. Yeah, this morning I was looking at my library as I left the house, library from the bookshelf, and think of apparatus, I think of Sherlock Holmes, this master sleuth, the hounds of Baskerville, you have to by all means, check this man out. It's absolutely amazing. But I was recently reading this book. And there was a piece in there where his wife keeps inundating him with this pet duck that she had done. Throughout the entire book, it has nothing to do with the story, but she keeps, look at the duck. I bought it. This is going to be fun. And the entire book, he's ignoring it, trying to go away with it. And you find out throughout the entire book, he has completely distanced himself, cannot stand this duck. And this is where that term comes from. He became, at the end of his book, the master of the duck show. Thank you, Sean Esler. Gibberish. DTM, Carmelo Valorio III. Softball. Carmelo. He does a lot of that. Isn't that a British term? Gibberish? Gibberish. Thinking about it. <laughs> words. <clears throat> what about words from the 80s that we used to use, especially over Queens where I grew up? Gibberish wasn't one of them. We had a, we had a two syllable double word for that, which I can't say here. <laughs> but words like copacetic. Last time we used that word. Everything is. Or mint. Every once in a while today I see one of these old cars, like an old Cadillac. El Dorado. Brits. White, red leather interior, convertible, mint condition. It's not gibberish. These words ought to come back to our vocabulary. So, two words for you. Mint and copacetic. DTM Carmelo Gallardo III. The next one would be whippersnapper. For a few 
future DTM? A whippersnapper. snapper. Now that's going back to those old cowboy movies. Gabby Hayes. Does anybody know who Gabby Hayes was? Oh, that's Roy Hayes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roy Rogers. Anytime they talk about the young guy, young kid coming up in the Western world, getting his six guns ready, he was a young whipper snapper, you know. Now he was shunned by a lot of the competition because it just couldn't be. You ever heard of Jesse James? Sure. The James boys, Rob Train, right? They, they tried to bring in these young snippers and then they went up to Minnesota. And they all got shot, except Jesse and his brother. They got back. So those young whippers snappers have to learn a lot. Welcome a lot of your new young whippers snappers here to the club today. Because you're all new, but you're on a journey that you'll never forget will improve your life to degrees that you won't believe. I guess the result is Tony Robbins hired me to train shooters. Where did that come from? You know, you never know what's going to happen. Do I have time? Yeah, I still got time. What should I do? We talked about six languages, you know. In the Bronx, they said, what's the word in the Bronx? No, what's the word in, the in uh, Brooklyn? The word you used to use earlier. I don't. No. What was that? 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 What was I like these words. They've got meat. You know what I mean? I just bought a doohickey the other day <laughs> because I needed this apparatus for my Harley. The new Harleys have got two spark plugs per cylinder. Two of them are easy to get to. The other two you've got to pull off the gas tank to get to. <laughs> and then you got to reach inside the cylinder head with an apparatus that's made to get around the bottom of the spark plug wire and pull it up. That is stupid. <laughs> I mean, they know we like to work on our motorcycles. Why do you make it so hard? I don't want to shun these words. These words are fantastic you're throwing out here today. I can't believe that you haven't brought in a Hotel California reference. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's you know, coming. if you did that, we'd make you... Ski <laughs> <laughs> Next up is let's go lickety split for future DTM. Lickety split. These are fantastic words. I agree. Well, it goes by DTM Blake Smith. These are fantastic words. They do have meat to them. <laughs> the lickety split. No idea what to say about lickety split. One of my favorite quotes, though, is from Mark Twain, where he said, The difference between the right word and the almost right word is the difference between lightning bug and lightning. <laughs> words, words mean everything. Words, if you get the, the correct word and you spend some time finding just the right word, your whole story comes together. I have a friend who reads the Washington Examiner, not for the news, but every week he comes out with a new word. You have, he finds words in there that he'd never heard before, and he looks them up. I love that. I, I keep a legal pad near the book that I'm reading at any time, because I don't understand a lot of words. And I'll find them, and I'll look them up. I love words. I love unique words. And this is one of the best table topics in a while. Thank you. No <laughs> Toastmaster Steve Mangle, let's not get hoodwinked. 
Hoodwinked. Hoodwinked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a good. Hoodwinked. I won't shun the camera as I walk towards the There camera. you go, there you go. Hoodwinked. There is a movie about that. I think it's on Netflix. It's a kid's movie. And in my opinion, it's terrible. <laughs> Anybody who has kids has probably had to sit through many terrible movies over and over and over again. They have no taste. Well, kids have a specific taste, uh, and but you can't figure it out. Because <laughs> there'll be something fantastic that they will latch on to, and then something terrible, and they will watch both with equal measures of interest. They, but a good thing about that is they accept everything. And your job as a parent is to filter that, to give them quality things, to try to help them differentiate. But at the same time, you don't want to kill what their real interest is. If they find something really good, you don't want to make them shun that if they don't marry you. There you go. Paolo! 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 Paolo!
Maybe that's a good way to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Coastmasters. My name is Soriano. There's two versions of to say it. Paola is in Spanish and Italian is Paola. And Paola is how I grew up, but living here and with English speakers, I tend to go by Paola because I find it easier. So I leave that up to you on how you want to pronounce it. I think. Except <coughs> Paddywhack. I don't know if I've ever really <laughs> used that word in a sentence, except maybe when you were a kid and you did the... Yeah.